Hi, my name is Hugh, and this is, uh, video is going to be demonstrating the SRI H2100 hydrogen generator. This makes up to 150 milliliters per minute of hydrogen using a proton exchange membrane cell. So, it comes in this box. There's a, a gas on and off switch here, so if I turn this, you can hear the, the hydrogen coming out, and you can see the pressure gauge dropping. And now you can see the, the, the output flow, which is displayed here. 170 means 170 milliliters per minute. So it's making, it's making hydrogen right now. So to start off, what you do is you take some distilled water. So it has to be distilled water. Don't use drinking water. Don't use deionized water. Only use distilled water. And that gets put into the tank has enough there to run for about a month, about a gallon of, of water is what it takes. So when it makes the hydrogen, the hydrogen um, has a little bit of water vapor in there, and on the side of the hydrogen generator, there's two um, hydrogen dryers. There's this first hydrogen dryer, which is filled with something called um, silica gel. So the silica gel is purple when it's, when it's dry, and it's pink when it's wet. So when this color turns pink, that's your signal that you need to um, regenerate the silica gel. So the way you regenerate the silica gel is you remove the silica gel from the hydrogen generator by unscrewing this cap here, and then this tube pulls right out. So find a, a coffee cup or some kind of glass container and unscrew the top of the silica gel and pour the silica gel into the glass container and then take it over to the microwave and microwave that for five minutes. So the pink color will disappear and the purple color will return and then you let it cool because you're pouring it back into plastic. You don't want it to be too hot and melt the plastic so you let it cool and then you use a funnel or some other implement like that to um, pour the, the silica gel desiccant back into the tube. Good. That actually shows you how close you can be everywhere. All right. Well, I guess the next step is to look screw at the, the top back on, put it back on. into the hydrogen generator, screw the cap back on, and then you're good for another X number of months. Could be two months, could be three months. Really depends on how much gas you pull from the generator. So that. Um, is something that I wanted to illustrate here. So this display here on the front of the hydrogen generator shows how much hydrogen is being made. And you can see it's 170, but as it gets close to the set point, the set point of the hydrogen generator is 60 PSI. So they, they all pressurize up to 60 PSI and then they stop. So you'll see that when, it, when the needle gets closer to the 60 PSI mark, that this number drops to zero. What I would do is, is Print this out. Okay, so you see how as the pressure is getting close to 60 PSI, how the flow is dropping. So it'll drop right to zero as, as it pressurizes up to the set point. So if I was to release a little of the flow, say if I, if I open and let a little bit of the hydrogen leak, it instantly starts to make more hydrogen to charge itself back up to 60 PSI. So it's important with these hydrogen generators to know what the flow is that you're allowing to leave the generator because you don't want it to be generating at its maximum all the time. Ideally it's less than half of its maximum. We call this a, an H2100 to reinforce the idea that 100 is really the maximum amount of gas, 100 mils a minute is the maximum amount of gas that we really want you to let escape from the hydrogen generator. If you run it at its maximum all the time, then it's going to break at some point. So it's better to run it for at less. So I'm, I've got a couple of GC columns here, and I'm going to connect the GC column to the outlet of the hydrogen generator. And the GC column is going to provide some kind of a flow restriction. So here I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, and let the gas escape. And you can see that it's going to settle out to some number less than 100. Right now it's, it's making 100 milliliters per minute, maybe a little less, now down to 90. So that's the idea, is you need to control 
the restriction so that the amount of gas that it's escaping from the generator is less than 100.